Hi field friends. I'm here to talk to you today about a free trial that we have of a digital ebook um, option called Capstone eBooks. Now at Field School we are one of well, we are the only school in the district that does not have a library of eBooks. Um, so before um, I use some of my budget money to buy eBooks, I want to see if you guys in turn really do um, like ebooks and to see if this is product would be something that field school students would like so your teachers will pass out um, a penguin piece of paper that looks like the one that I have similar on the screen um, we do have a access to this free trial until November 15th 2018 um, the one thing I will tell you is that when you do log in to Capstone is that there is a library of over 3,000 ebooks, which is awesome. However, uh, when we do start our own field school library, we do need to purchase titles one at a time, so ours probably will not be that large to get started. So you will see that there is a username and a password at the bottom. If you are using a Chromebook, you can type in the address mycapstonelibrary.com. If you have an iPad or a device, um, another device like an iPad, a tablet, etc., you can just scan this QR code um, and definitely share this um, piece of paper with your grown-up. So, um, I'm going to go type into my address bar, not the Google address bar, mycapstonelibrary.com. And the biggest problem we've had with students in the library in using this is that they do not spell library correctly. So spelling does count. Use that piece of paper to your advantage. Once you get to this yellow, piece, this yellow screen, you're going to click the login button that is green in the upper right hand corner. So you will then scroll, and it's hard because you notice when I'm scrolling, the yellow screen moves, not this little notepad, which is what you need. So we're going to log in with the Capstone Interactive, which then pops up the screen. Do not log in with Google because since this is a free trial, we do not have access to um, the login with Google option. Um, you're going to type in your password, which is Capstone Neptune. You can see I've saved the password to make logging in easier on my computer. And then the password is love to read. Once you have that typed in, you are going to press the green go button. And then you are logged in to Capstone eBooks. Once you are here, you will notice that there are loads and loads, well, over 3,000, there's 3,379 books. Um, there's all different types of books. Um, if you are a fifth grader, you might want to check the interest level. This is not the reading level. This is the interest level to fifth grade. And then um, now it says there's 1,285 books. So, um, trying to look and see um, what would be of interest to you. Um, let's check out, um, let's check out, I'm just looking down here. Ooh, True Stories of Survival at Sea, Adrift and Alone. So um, I know that a lot of times kids come into the library and they're looking for books about survival. So let's check and see what this book might be about. So. To access the book, I'm going to click on the book. Then it says a summary, so drifting alone on the ocean for days on end. The hot sun is beating down, and water is all you can see in any direction. In these horrible conditions, there are some who have found the will to survive. These true stories detail the amazing events of people who have braved the elements on the open sea. Interesting. I definitely want to read this book. So I can click on book information if I want to read a little bit more about it. It shows me um, what the Dewey Decimal Number is, so it is a nonfiction book. Um, and if I were to find the actual book in the library, it would be um, in 910.4. Um, it shows me what the Lexile level is. Oh, and look, I think ooh, it might be a graphic novel, although I'm not quite sure. We'll have to look at that one. Um, is it a series called True Stories of Survival? Um, it looks grade interest levels from 3 to 9. 
So that looks interesting. So if I wanted to do a little more research, I could um, do facttown.com. Um, but most importantly, I can now play the book. So I'm going to click on play book. Now, um, before I start choose, and it will not be this small when I play it, you can see that I have um, some options here. I have Word, Autoplay, Audio, Contents, Glossary, Full Screen. So I'm going to keep the audio on just so you can see. I'm also going to do Read Book Page by Page because if I do Read Book all at once, I don't get to control how fast the book goes. I'm going to also show you what the audio looks like. Um, and if you were in your classroom reading a book, an audiobook, you would have to make sure that you had headphones. So, read book page by page. Adrift and Alone, True Stories of Survival at Sea, by Nell Yomtov, illustrated by Pat Kinsella. You can tell already, I used the pause button to stop, you can tell already this is not your ordinary audiobook with a boring narrator. So now I'm going to use the arrow button to advance the book. Alone at sea. Being lost at sea is one of the most challenging survival situations imaginable. Once adrift on vast stretches of endless ocean, a person is at the mercy of nature. Blazing heat, icy waters, powerful storms, huge waves, and dangerous sea creatures such as sharks and whales are constant threats. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm going to turn the audio off for a moment and show you how I can turn the pages. So, this does look like it's a graphic novel. That's amazing. A graphic novel on the computer? Holy moly. Um, so I can um, listen to this story, um, and I can just turn the audio back on. But when I click through the pages and have the audio, it's like doop, 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 doop. So I don't want to do that. Um, if I find that this book is not for me, or when I finish it, I can um, use the back button to go back to the library. I can also go in the glossary to see if there's a word that I'm not quite sure of. Um, I can also go on, um, to the table of contents if I want to see... Um, maybe what other survival stories there are, and I can forward to one of those. Um, but there's a lot of different options there for you. Um, now if I go back here, um, you'll also see that it takes me all the way back, so I'm back to, um, all the books in that series. I can also search, like if I'm doing a nonfiction report, um, like let's say I'm looking for specific things, um, on dogs. Um, I get all about chihuahuas, all about boxers. Um, so I can see that um, I can actually have some different resources all within this excellent format. And I can click and read on them, um, which is amazing. Um, the last thing I will say about this um, you could search by Lexile. We don't really use that one. You could search by guided reading level, your grade range. Um, you could look what's popular, which I noticed yesterday there was, um, we don't want to look what's popular in dogs. Um, if you were looking for like battle of the books, these books are all published by Capstone. So it would have to be a title that um, is a Capstone published book. So, um, I didn't look for this yesterday, but there might be some choose your own adventure. I'm curious. No, they don't have those ones in here. Um, but Katie Wu, who is popular with the primary grades, she is in here, all of her books, and then also her friend Pedro. He has his own series. He's in here. Um and if you go to the library, notice there's um, stars on the back of the book spines. Those are capstone books. So hopefully this lengthy intro of me talking has helped you learn a little bit about this capstone interactive. These titles will be available to us until November 15th. If you um, see books that you like, please let me know. Um, I will be looking for feedback next week during your library time. So um, please 
read it, uh, read some of these books. Let me know what you think. If you are reading these during class, the one important thing that you will need so that um, you are not interrupting others while reading would probably be your headphones. So please make sure those are plugged in before you start listening to a book. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mrs. Schaub. And don't forget, everything that you need is on this little penguin piece of paper. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.